Okay, when we can watchy, what I say, I'm to chi I'm very sorry, that's not for you. But Ghana Black Stars, many a football fan, but I believe say a more ball for qualifying uh um matches during the World Cup, right? What can I say? But I'm sure some what I say. It's Mr. Ghana Black Stars. Mamu di Ghana for shamu because this is a time uh Ghana for be na bit me to quine easily. In to won't qualify for most of your matches, study be yeah at least mobi to me up matches nibi or Canada. Na ama Ghanaians the opportunity to come to Canada. Say Anya Shekra they can come and see what Canada is or Canada looks like. Or more mobe kem so so be kem omwa omu be so mobe ye the umpe so mwes baba ye what ya see but say yeah qualifier a busy day, a movie bray, a bar, into Miss Shamogana Black Stars, Mombo Motin. Boys no, or my mom morale, me and support to my wife, said the beyond busy meeting. Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. So guys, today is Friday, Freaky Friday. And you just watch a lady try to explain why the Black Stars must qualify for World Cup 2026. She said exactly what was on my mind. And I believe that, see, the Black Stars has to do this for Ghanaians. Ghanaians really need this qualification more than anything. This is the most important World Cup that black stars would ever have to qualify for so guys let me know your thoughts about that particular video down below in the comment section in today's video we are going to give you latest concerning Mohamed Salisu's transfer full am i interested in Mohamed Salisu and also Monaco's first bid and second bid has been rejected by Saddamton we also have latest concerning Mohamed Kudus transfer come out in Suleiman and also NS Nyama live here on Sports Corner G8 if you have not subscribed yet if you have not even turned on notification yet to the channel please make sure to do that if you have already turned on notification if you have already subscribed thank you very much I really appreciate your support for Sports Corner G8 so guys quickly let's begin with today's video and I want to begin with Mohamed Salisu I brought you a video yesterday that there were two clubs that were interested in Mohamed Salisu Monaco and Everton in fact Monaco upped their you know game and then went to Everton to provide their first bid. It was rejected. They provided second bid. It was rejected yesterday. And Southampton told Monaco that they should bring 20 million euros and come and take the left footed Ghanaian centre back. Fulham had this information and they were like, no, they are interested in Mohamed Salisu. In fact, 20 million they can pay. They can pay and take Mohamed Salisu. But then Southampton told them that it's not entirely up to them. Fulham needs to go and talk to Saddamton and agree personal things before they come to them with an official bid. But then, as for Saddamton, they are ready to take the 20 million if anything is able to provide that money as soon as possible. They have nothing to lose. They have to sell Mohamed Salisu as, pos as soon as possible because next year Mohamed Salisu would be a free agent. And Mohamed Salisu also prior prioritized the fact that he wants to play Champions League football or European football. He could be even Europa or Europa Conference League. But Monaco is the one going to give him that particular opportunity. That's why Monaco has strong head bent on bringing in Mohamed Salisu with the kind of quality and experience he has. But Fulham are also saying that Mohamed Salisu is young, he is experienced, he has the PL experience, he has played in before, so he would adapt quickly. So Fulham have also joined the race for Mohamed Salisu. Now, there are three teams that are in the race for Mohamed Salisu. Everton, Monaco and Fulham. We'll make sure to follow up on this and bring you all the necessary updates you need to know about this. Now, moving away from Mohamed Salisu, let's talk about another Mohamed. We are supposed to talk about Mohamed Kudus. Now, for the past two days, he has been the talk of town. Transfers, topping everywhere. And we have seeing that Asla are the most ones interested in Mohamed Kudus currently because um, the fans were crying that they should go and bring Mohamed Kudus. Arsenal fans, they were crying initially that the coach should you know, accept and bring Mohamed Kudus. Now, according to the Mirror and also according to the Express, they said the only way Arsenal would be able to sign Mohamed Kudus is that they would have to let go of six players. That is the only way Arsenal would be able to sign Mohamed Kudus. Now, from what we are hearing, rumors close to Arsenal and also close to Mohamed Kudus is that Arsenal are planning to give Ajax player plus cash for Mohamed Kudus. And then the player they are using in this particular transaction is Nicolas Pepe. Yes, Nicolas Pepe plus cash for Mohamed Kudus. And Ajax is trying to consider this particular bid because um, 
Lucas Pepe hasn't you know, really turned on for Arsenal ever since he was hired. But then I believe he would be a much better player for Ajax than he was for Arsenal. So we'll make sure to follow up on this particular transfer between Mohamed Kudus and Arsenal and bring you all necessary information. Now to a rumor. This is just a rumor. Man City fans are telling Pep Guardiola and the whole entire staff of Man City that they should replace Ryan Mares with Mohamed Kudus. Now, Ryan Mares has gone to Saudi Arabian club. And the fans of Man City are saying, see, you have watched the preseason game, Ajax versus Shakhtar Donetsk. We know what Mohamed Kudus can do. If you can kindly replace Mares with Mohamed Kudus, that is what the Man City fans are saying. But this is just based on a rumor. We'll make sure to follow up on how true this particular rumor is and make sure to bring you every necessary detail you need to know about this. Now, moving away from Mohamed Kudus, let's talk about Kamal Adin Suleiman. And now, Kamal Adin Suleiman has arrived in Tin Town for preseason for Saddam Sin. Um, I've already told you that Kamal Adin Suleiman says that he doesn't mind playing for Saddam Sin in the championship. But Tottenham are interested in Kamal Adin Suleiman. Tottenham have already made their interest known in Kamal Adin Suleiman. And also, the latest thing that has come out to talk to Kamal Adin Suleiman and see if they can take him away from Southampton on loan is Marcel. Yes, the French side Marcel are looking to take on uh, Kamal Adin Suleiman on loan. We'll make sure to follow up on this key and make sure to bring you every necessary information. But regardless of all this, Possibility of Kamal Adin Suleiman stay at Southampton and playing championship is very, very high. At the 60-70% is very high. So kindly, let's move on to the next player, who is NS Nama. Now, NS Nama has arrived in Team Cup for New Zealand. They are doing the preseason currently in Austria. And, I mean, there, there are a lot of talks around NS Nama because he inter his attractive interest from four clubs. Currently, four clubs are interested in uh, NS Nama. The first club is AC Milan, second club is Everton, third club is Ajax, and then the fourth club is Marseille. Now, the reason why Ajax is on top of this list, and I believe he could go to Ajax, is that Ajax are looking to replace uh, Mohamed Kudus with NS Nyama. Ajax see um, NS Nyama as a perfect replacement for Mohamed Kudus. So, immediately the move for Mohamed Kudus is done. Ajax are quickly going to speed up things for NS Nyama, and this is latest and confirmed. Ajax have registered a very strong interest in NS Nyama, and they see NS Nyama as a very you no know, good replacement for Mohamed Kudu. So it's just one Ghanaian for another Ghanaian in the Ajax um, team. So, guys, so let's climax today's video with the latest coming from the camp of Daniel Amate. Daniel Amate, with whom Istanbul Bexitas is in transfer negotiation with, is coming to Turkey. The plane carrying Daniel Amate will land at Istanbul Airport around 5.30 in the morning and there will be an official announcement for Daniel Amate transfer to Bexitas. We'll make sure to follow up on this and bring you all necessary information you need to know about that. Daniel Amate would be announced as a new player for Bexitas very, very soon. This is the latest concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players transfer latest that we have gathered all over social media and also all over trusted sources that we are giving to you. Some are confirmed, some are also rumors. So we'll make sure to follow up on all this and make sure to bring you all the necessary details you know. So guys, I'm going to go through it once more and also let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Mohamed Salisu Attracted interest from Fulham. They are the new team that has registered interest in Mohamed Sanisu. Monaco's second bid for Mohamed Sanisu has been thrown away. They should go and bring 20 million from Mohamed Sanisu. The next player we talked about in today's video was Kudus. Arsenal are preparing Nicolas Pepe plus cash for Mohamed Kudus, and Ajax are really considering that particular transaction. Kamadi in Suleimana might be going on run to Marcel or could probably go to Tottenham or could stay with Southampton and play championship and help them come to the Premier League next season. And also, lastly, NS Nyama is attracting interest from four clubs, but the latest is that the front runners out of these four clubs is Ajax. Ajax are looking to replace Mohamed Kudus with NS Nyama if Mohamed Kudus' move goes through, either to Arsenal, either to Brighton or over Albion, or whichever team Mohamed Kudus lands in. Um, NS Nyama would be replacing Mohamed Kudus in the Ajax setup. So guys, this is the latest we have for you live on Sports Corner GH. Today is Friday. Make sure to share this video. Share the link. Share the link to others so that others can watch this particular video. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we go back.